Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, Google have started rolling out Android 15 first open beta builds for Pixel smartphones. We might get to see developer previews for other OEMs like OnePlus because we have seen in past they do release developer previews soon after Google releases their first open beta. And do not expect much of changes guys because Android 15 doesn't bring any UI changes. A lot of new implementations are layered to privacy. In this video, we'll try to cover everything what Google have introduced. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Pixel 7a. Let me show you the software information first. If you go to about section, Android version, you can see it says vanilla ice cream. This build comes with 5th April 2024 security patch and the build number is .018. I was already running developer preview. So I received an update of 637 MB, which is the first open beta. And if you guys want to participate in the beta program, you can just search for Android beta program on Google. And later from there, you can add your particular device. You just have to opt in. Once you do that, after that, you can check for the software update. You'll receive Android 15 first beta. And guys, now before moving ahead, we have 87% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So soon I installed this update, first change what I noticed, so I have a screenshot of before and after. I'm not sure this is layered to some changes done in the material you theming part or something else. So this was a screenshot which I took on the previous build wherein you can see the pop-up menu is in white color and that time I had the similar wallpaper and here is the screenshot after updating in which you can see there is light brownish color. I'll add this screenshot in one preview. You guys can take a look yourself and if you guys know, keep me posted what changes they have done. And the second change we noticed after updating the device and that's layer to predictive back gesture animation. So you can see there's a lot of changes done in the predictive back gesture animation. I don't have a video to compare, but you guys will feel once you install it. By the way, if you guys are not able to see the predictive back animation or predictive back gesture, make sure you have enabled developer option and after that search for predictive back animation. By default, it's disabled, but you can enable it from the developers option. And they have also fixed these app crashing issues, which were there on developer preview one and two. Also another thing what they have fixed and that's layer to the play store in which it wasn't showing the update availability of the applications which are installed. But I did test out after this update by uninstalling the updates of few application. And now those apps were appearing in the pending download section. And with the first Android 15 beta build, Google have removed the notification cooldown feature, which was present on developer previews. I'm not sure why they have removed, but that feature is now gone from Android 15 beta one. They might add that feature in the upcoming builds. And as per Michal Rahman on Twitter, he's also posted a new add-on which is layered to wallet, which lets you change your default wallet app. But Google wallet doesn't work here in India, so I cannot say much about it. And another new change what I noticed here in the app drawer, I'm not sure whether it was previously there or not. In my usage, I never encountered that. Now, if you tap here in the search bar, you also get to see your Chrome history. As I said, I'm not sure because I haven't seen this before. This is something new for me. If you guys are still on Android 14, let me know whether this thing was available or not. As I said initially, now they have done few privacy related changes with Android 15. Again, I'm not sure about this thing. Troubleshoot mobile connection was there or not. You guys can keep me updated if it was available. After that, under network preferences, there's this new option to disable the connections to Wi-Fi network, which are secured by WEP, which is an older security protocol. So this is one add-on under network preferences what they have done and after that if you go to security and privacy scroll down under more security and privacy option then go to cellular network security here there are two options now one is secure notification and the second one is related to encryption. So if you have enabled the security notification option, if your device gets connected to an insecure cellular network, you'll see a notification that time. And for the required encryption, it says encryption is more secure, but you might not be able to connect in some locations for emergency calls. As said, you won't see much of changes with this latest build of Android 15. In future, we might get to see some new add-ons, but with beta one, these are the only changes what you'll see. And I'm not covering all the changes which we have already done in the developer preview one and two weeks. Video. So guys, there's nothing much to talk about. If I discover anything new, I'll keep you guys posted. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.